hello again on my Rouse's Point Raphael's, on my Morris Michelangelo's, and any other pipsqueak Picasso's that may be out there watching this video. Uh, it's been a long time since we've gotten together for one of these instructional art videos, but I'm very excited because this one uh, was a request. And I'm always excited when I get a request because it means at least someone out there is watching these videos. And I'm also excited because it's Halloween. So for this drawing, we're going to do one of my favorite movie monsters of all time. We're going to draw Frankenstein's monster. And if you're ready, we'll get started. Uh, we're going to hold our paper the portrait way. And I'm going to start right at the top with just a light loose line to show that this is the top of my drawing. Then I'm going to put another line right at the bottom. Just light and loose, it doesn't have to be dark, just to give you an idea of where the top of the picture is going to be and where the bottom is going to be. I'm also going to put one right about in the middle. Now I'm drawing it lightly so I can make an adjustment if I want to. Now from here I'm going to draw his head and I'm going to go maybe about halfway down or a little less than halfway down. Now the bigger you make the head, the more cartoony it's going to look. So it's up to you how much of a cartoon you want it to look like. And again, I'm keeping my lines kind of light and loose. I'm drawing a little bit darker so that you can see my lines. But you can see that from the head to the waist, I'm coming about halfway down. After I have this, I'm going to go all the way from the waist right down to the bottom of the picture for his legs. And then I'm going to go from the bottom of the feet almost up to the waist. And just like that, I have his legs finished. Now I'm going to draw his torso. So here's the inside of his jacket. The outside is maybe a little bit wider than his waist. And his shoulders, to make him look a little bit more hunched over, instead of starting down here, I'm going to move his shoulders up here. Something I wouldn't do if I were drawing a regular person. But to make him look a little bit more monstrous, I'm going to make him look a little bit more hunched over. Now his wrist is going to be a little bit below his waist, but Frankenstein's monster had a jacket that didn't fit very well, mostly because he was so big. So I'm going to have the sleeves of his jacket go just about to his waist, maybe a little bit longer, but about to his waist. That's one of the tricks that the uh, movie makers made was that they put him in a jacket that was a little bit too small to make him look even bigger. Now from here, I'm going to draw not really his hands, but I'm going to draw where his hands are going to be, just with a couple little ovals. And then I'm going to connect, connect them with two lines that are a little bit skinnier. And you can see when you do that, when you have the hands below the end of the jacket, it makes the jacket look even smaller and it makes him look even bigger and more opposing. Now onto the feet. All I have to do is make two half circles. There's a half circle right here and a half circle right here. Now, when I draw the head, I'm going to start with the eye line. And people have the tendency to make the eye line much too high on the head, especially with Frankenstein's monster. We want to have a nice big forehead. So I'm going to draw the eye line right about in the middle of the head. You want to put it up here? Don't do it. Halfway down. Then if I go halfway from the eye line to the bottom of the head, I'm going to make another line that's a little bit shorter. In fact, it's much shorter. And that's going to be where his nose is. is 
located. From the nose to the bottom, I'm going to make another line. This one's a little bit longer than the nose, but not all the way across like the eye line. I'm going to give them two big droopy eyes. And the droopy eyes are just half circles. And then inside the half circles, I'm going to draw two more half circles and then color them in. And his face is almost finished. Maybe I'll give him one little tooth sticking out. That's optional. You can do it if you want to. If you don't like the way it looks, you don't have to. I'm going to give him a scar on his forehead. Just going to draw a line right here. And then a few sutures. And if you just want to draw vertical and horizontal lines for the stitches, that's fine. A lot of this stuff is optional. In fact, the more things that you put on, they reflect your own artistic taste, the better. I'll maybe give them another scar right here. Of course, he has to have ears. I'll give him some hair. I'm going to put a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side. And then in front, I'm just going to have a few lines that are just kind of like letter V. Some of them are smaller. Some of them are a little bit bigger. Some curve to the right, some curve to the left. And then maybe I'll darken the top here. For the bolts, the electric bolts that give him that little spark of life, we can either put them on the side of his head like this. I've seen some versions of Frankenstein's monster where those bolts are on the side of his head. Or if you want to, I can show a little bit of his neck and then put the bolts down here. And finally, this next step is optional also. To make them look even more dreary, I'm going to put his eyelids sagging over his eyes. And from here, the last thing that I'm going to do In my initial drawing is to put some detail in his hands. I'm just going to put a thumb and it looks like he's wearing mittens so I'll draw one line to separate his pointing finger from the rest of his hand. I'll put some scars right here. Do the same thing. There's his thumb. There's a line to show the rest of his hand. And then just one line. I don't have to show lines for all of the fingers. You know he's got other fingers there. A 
And at this point, we are ready to add some color and some details. ready for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy working on your own Frankenstein drawing. I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. And as always, stay creative, stay safe, stay cougar strong. We'll see you soon. <laughs>